Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing probably the last video in our bubble series. In this video we're going to blow a bubble for our old van windows. We did make the Maltese crosses. A little hard to see. But we have the old van windows, the regular round portholes. So today we're going to be making a template and blowing some bubbles and then throwing these up on eBay just for fun. Basically what you want to do, I'm not sure how well you can see, you want to take your old bubble, draw, draw it out, and we came in about roughly a half an inch, and that's where we're going to cut out. So we're going to cut this out, get it set up on our jig, cut out some acrylic, and we'll go from there. Okay, now that we got the jig all cut out, next up we're going to router the inside edge right here just so we don't get any hard lines when we blow the bubble. So let's get to it. So here we are on the wing that Kevin extended. This was a typical little whale tail, added in about 13 or 14 inches to it. Can't even tell yet. So we're about to get to the fun stu stuff. So here's our jig. We've used it many times in the past. We went over it once before. Basically, you just want some sort of a valve. This is just standard plumbing. It doesn't get hot. You don't have to worry about burning yourself. You want to make sure that the air inlet is recessed down here. So basically at this point, you get your gasketing material. Cut a hole in it. Wow, that is bright. Put your gasketing material on. Here is the color we are going with. Why? Because it's not common. A lot of people requested gray on the poles, but they come gray. That's no fun. Basically, we're just going to put that down so it's roughly centered. Then we're going to take our template with the routered edge. We have our template here with the routered edge. Routered edge will go down. We want it roughly in the center. This, you just kind of eyeball it. Then we're gonna go through. We're gonna drill all along the outside because in the end where this line is, that's where we're gonna be cutting it to fit into the existing frame. So if she looks about centered, you're gonna drill through. You wanna drill through very slowly and just drill on the outside of where you're working. Just try to get this thing sandwiched as best as possible. So let's go.
times. All right, guys, so here we are. Finally arrived at the fun part. So we're gonna fire up the heater. We found that 15 minutes at 68,000 BTUs seems to work the best. So we'll get this warming up. Already getting warm. Now here's your standard stock van window. It has maybe, maybe an inch, inch and a half of rise on it. We're gonna be going much bigger. So here we have our jig all set up. On the back side, we have our material with the template we made earlier today with the gasketing material under it. At this point, we just slap it on here. Run over. Hit the timer for 15 minutes. And we'll check back to you in 15 minutes. So here we are, end of 15 minutes. Take that. Connect it. Let's see where we go. Uh, it's about four. Right. A little more. Right. It's about there. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I don't want to put any more air in. Yep. Now, when this air is going in there, it's just cooling it off. That's a little bigger. We're expanding the size right now. Yeah, we don't want to go any bigger. About right there. Yep. Keep it. Just keep it rolling. That I'm is stepping back pretty because big. I actually uh Oh, this went off. It's hard enough. Look at this blue. It's just really cool. Yeah, I can open it all the way. It's not going to expand no more. That is a bubble. All right, we'll let this cool down. And then we're going to cut it. All right, so we're back. Bubble's all nice and cooled down. As you can see, pretty big. What we did here is we used this marker, this little piece of metal, which is right about the same height from when we blow the second one because of course we wanted it to be symmetrical so we're going to go through basically we're going to unpackage this so i'll take a cap sure I'll zip these out real quick let's see where we're at and then we'll compare them Got like screws. So there's our finished bubble. Now, of course, we have to go back, kind of scribe out where we got to cut it. But we'll give you a comparison. There is the stock bubble, and there's the cross country garage bubble. Slight difference. But someone out there somewhere needs this bubble someone needs a big bubble yep just think of it you could put your dog in the back and then he could see out the bubble towards the front of the van one of a kind oh yeah so well now we gotta make two of a kind yeah one, <laughs> one pair of a kind a pair of a kind so i'm gonna mark these out and start cutting that's the fun part all right we're back gonna hit the timer we have this jig all set up we have our height marked. So we're going to throw this on the fire. And while we're doing this, we're going to do the fun part of cutting out this bubble. Basically, we're back to the Dremel. Now what we did was we took the old bubble here 
placed it on the inside and scribed a little mark all the way around. So we're gonna fire up the Dremel, start cutting. back. The timer just went off. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to kill the heat. Here you go, Kev. All right, now we want to go up to just about that line. Bubble number two. So here we go. I think we're there. Trying to hold the air right here. Let it cool. Let this thing cool down, see where we're at. Get the other one cut and shape. Alrighty. Alright, so here's where we're at. Here's our first bubble. And here's our second. First bubble definitely looks bigger. So this is all cured. We're gonna throw this back on the heater for a couple minutes. Throw a little more pressure into it. Let's do it. give it about five minutes all right here we are four minutes later Let's see where we're at this is the first time we ever reheated a bubble so Let's see if this works oh yeah that's better much better we altered the air pressure and uh yeah now we're rocking around 90 psi or so so this should be a lot better the bubble's definitely higher than the other one that well this one that we started ultimate yeah. goal is to make the uh a pair of bubbles the same height but at least now we know we can reheat it if we have to yep look close Is it still too low? It's looking close, but it might be slightly low. This keeps shutting off. Hard to tell with the wood. Um, went out but it was still no recording. the screen goes off to save battery oh it's still recording with the screen off oh oh 
I'm not a professional GoPro guy. I apologize for that. I'm just telling everybody, you know, the viewers out there that, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying. pirate this uh, video a little bit working on the van working on all the body work and flares and got some painting going on here with a nice black look at the gloss on that grill bam Coming out. So hey guys, here we are back following day. Today's I think it's Monday, May 11th. So bubbles all done. As you can see, didn't want to bore you guys with putting the weather stripping on. Nothing really exciting there. This really isn't that hard. I mean, what do you have to lose? A couple bucks worth of acrylic? So you can see these are all the bubbles that we've done for the G10 that we've been working on. We've got the turn signals in the front, the rear. We have the tail lights, license plate cover. We even got bored and made this license plate cover yesterday. Totally illegal in all 50 states, guaranteed. Probably gonna throw that in on eBay just when these go. And this is where it started with the crosses. As you can see, kind of wanted to keep them stock, go with like an inch and a half bubble or so. These are all custom made. They're water jetted out. They're all in the other video. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this. And by all means, if you do try this, please post it on our channel. We'd like to see it. Probably get some better ways to do it. Because we just started. We figured, you know what? People do this in a laboratory. There's got to be a way to do it at home. And not going to lie, our first bubble, we didn't even use the oven. We basically just blew the heater right on it while I was sitting on a wall. And that actually worked out pretty good too. So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Catch you later. Here we go. Two, one. All right. Let's do it. All right. We'll clip the air on. Turn it over. Let's see what this. Whoa! It blew. I don't know about you guys, but I'm blaming Carol Baskin.